After Kosovo declared independence 15 years ago, 50,000 minority Serbs in the north refused to recognize state institutions or any form of benefits from Serbia's budget, nor do they want to pay any taxes, either to Pristina or Belgrade. When state authorities crack down on cross-border smuggling by building a border, police base and acted to have Serbs switch their car registrations from Serbia to Kosovo, tensions and violence increased. And this made the economy of the country at risk. International companies that were supposed to arrive for the first time in Kosovo told us they were delaying in opening shops due to the unstable situation. This meant for them that Kosovo is a dangerous region. More and more citizens got concerned about the unrest in the country and have urged the government to find a lasting solution. I have to say I'm more worried than I have been in many years uh, about the threat, the risk of, of deadly conflict um, in, uh, in northern Kosovo, uh, which could then actually spill into, um, into reprisal attacks on, uh, on Serbs in the south of, south of Kosovo. Um, uh, could also see uh, attacks on the Albanian minority in northern Kosovo. Um, there's, there are a lot of armed uh, men up there, and tempers are, are short. Um, I, I'm, I'm worried. Intense Western diplomacy halted a feared slide back into armed conflict in the run-up to the 15th anniversary of ethnic Albanian majority Kosovo's independence from Serbia. After years of inconclusive EU-mediated negotiations, US and EU envoys managed to prod Serbian and Kosovo leaders to sign normalization plan. We remain convinced that the plan we presented in September and we discussed today is the best way for normalization of relations between Serbia and Kosovo and for European integration of the region. Kurti said yes to the EU plan, which he called a good basis for further discussion and solid platform for moving forward Kosovo's relations with Serbia. However, 15 years after it declared independence, Ties remain fraught with tension, with Belgrade still not recognizing the statehood of its former province.